Boom. Ha ha, I got you. <laughs> I'm not going to be the only one scared today, baby. Let's go ahead and jump into five ghost stories you'll regret watching. I can't wait to hop into this. I've been seeing this everywhere. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I got all the lights turned off. I got really good bass in these headphones and they're going to be blasted. I'm trying to get scared. I am. I'm trying to get jumped. I'm ready for this. If you get scared, you got to hit that like button and drop below another top five that you want me to see. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right. What you got for me today, baby? Come on. Top five ghosts. Oh, oh this is super loud. Strange brew. Popular YouTube ghost hunting team Twin Paranormal are invited to investigate the allegedly haunted Cutthroat Brewing Company in Markleyville, California. Originally built in 1862, the building has been through many changes over the last 158 years. The structure has served as a hotel, a bar, a restaurant, and for a time, even as a temporary doctor's office and morgue. Through the years, owners, employees, and visitors to the Cutthroat Brewing Company have frequently witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. They say that bottles and chairs in the bar sometimes just move on their own. Nope! Why in the hell? Come on now. Many have seen and heard the dark apparition of a woman wearing heels pacing back and forth in front of the windows on the second floor. And some have spotted the menacing figure of a man standing behind the restaurant's bar. Once, a grandmother brought her very young granddaughter along with her to visit a friend who worked at the Cutthroat. When they reached the upper floor of the building, the toddler seemed to start playing with a child who just wasn't there, laughing and talking to this invisible child. The little girl kept calling out the name Sophie over and over while playing. The grandmother said that she didn't know anyone named Sophie, and she didn't know where the child could have even heard. Why is it always Sophie? or uh, Annabelle or something like that. Why every single time? Every single time, dude. If you hear that, get out. Just go, get out of here. I keep looking over my shoulder now every single like five minutes. Every like 30 seconds, what am I talking about? Heard that name. Twin Paranormal Team Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick are staying at the Cutthroat Brewing Company overnight to try to capture some of the location's intense paranormal activity. They decide to place a ball at the top of the staircase to potentially trigger the spirit named, quote, Sophie, to play with it or move it. As soon as we got here, we wanted to do a quick little test. Um, I had mentioned to Wyatt that I wanted to put a ball at the top of the stairs just to see what would happen. And literally, we have the clip. <laughs> Did anybody hear that step right there? I, I had heard it say left, and then I heard like a, a, a footstep right here. Literally right here. Dude. Oh, hell. Hell no. The boy, the ball. Thank you. It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you. It's okay, it's okay. Are you up there? And if you're thinking that the ball placed on the step's edge was just bound to fall anyway, well, it should be noted that Ryan did test to make sure that the ball wouldn't just fall over on its own. You you filmed us uh, stomping next to Yes, right? I did. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. So they try the ball test again. We hear you upstairs. Use your energy. Kick that ball. Or you can tell no, 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 no. Oh! oh, no, no. Oh, they sh oh they're right there. For that one. I'm sorry. It, it just really scared me because it caught me off guard. It really did. This time the ball bounces back down the steps as if on command. The team gathers their courage and asks the spirits that haunt the Cutthroat Brewing Company some questions using a modified spirit box. They get some very strange answers, but what they don't know is that one of their stationary cameras captures something truly chilling. Who's here with us tonight? As 
we were asking our questions towards the front of the building, one of our night vision cameras pointing towards the back door had picked up what looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building. If you look close, this man-like figure starts to form his body and then his head right after. Then he turns his head facing our direction before exiting out the back door. So, what do you think? Did the ghost of a child named- I think right then, I keep- I am- Oh my god, dude. I getting, I'm getting like goosebumps on my back right now. Oh, I don't like it. But the thing is, that's enough. You got everything you need. They're there. What, what else are you there for? You're out. You're there to see if something's there. You found out. Get out, my guy, before you, you talk to something you don't want to talk to. Come on. Sophie rolled the ball down the stairs. Could the strange figure be the spirit of the man people claim to have seen behind the bar? And if not, just who or what is this? You can watch the all new part two of the Cutthroat Brewing Company investigation over on the Twin Paranormal YouTube channel, The John Lowe Murder House. In 2014, 82 year old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66-year-old girlfriend, Christine Lee, and her daughter, Lucy, at his family home in Surrey, England. Is it bad that I thought they were going to say the puppies and I, were about, I was about to be a lot, I was about to cry. I was. If he said, hey, they killed, or this man killed 18 of these little baby puppies, after showing me a picture of him, oh my lord, don't do me like that. Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. The sudden strange and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the quote, John Lowe murder house. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Together with YouTube ghost hunters proving demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. Who comes up with these devices? A spirit box? Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy Whoa, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? The shocking spirit box reply seemed to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Hold on, hold on. Could it be a car on the road? Did she just grab me? my back? No, I didn't grab your back. Then. Video? No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I swear I like, didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding, I didn't touch you? Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. The camera. And my other hand's in my was pocket. Was in his pocket. There was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mist seems to rise up and away from her. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. Hold on, hold on. Could it be a car on the road? Did it sounded she just grab my back? No, I didn't grab your back. Yeah. After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders channel, keen-eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage that I've seen because being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, and then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched, well, it 
all seems very hard to fake. But of course, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think... I think the one before that is a little bit more scary. I'm going to be honest. Because they actually physically seen him. He was standing right next to the ball and it fell over. That's just really, really... That would have you shaking like that one guy. This... I don't know. This could be a little bit more set up than anything. Like he said, it would have to be perfectly timed. But... Hey, enough editing and you can make anything look right. Think should be included in the top five. Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The hills have eyes. Amr from the popular YouTube channel Amr slash 3AMR travels to the site of several abandoned buildings in the middle of nowhere in Saudi Arabia. Amr believes that the site he's exploring has been used to perform occult rituals and is a place used by witches. As soon as why would you go there? An abandoned building in Saudi Arabia. Oh no! As he starts exploring, he begins to feel uncomfortable. And you should. Reason, it seems like he's not alone. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Shift one, two. Bismillah. Oh. Oh, my God. It's. Well, I'm becoming a thumb. If you flash, it's my new team. If you slack, I can hear about it. Someone or something with glowing eyes seems to be staring at Amr from inside one of the buildings. When he runs over, no one there. He searches through the entire building but finds absolutely nothing. The figure with glowing eyes seems to have mysteriously disappeared without a sound. Amr continues on to one of the other creepy buildings, but he still feels like he's being watched. في بيت مكتوب وش ذا؟ تشوفون؟ في شيء يتحرك؟ I seen its eyes. في شيء يتحرك؟ بسم الله. تشوفون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. وش هذا؟ هذا كل لمبة بس. بسم الله. بسم الله. ما أدري وش هو. Don't. Why are you going towards it? Bismillah. 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 He's running to it. Don't make me throw my headphones. ما أدري أنت هيجي علي أو شوف شيء يعكس النور. شيء غريب مرة. خلنا نسمع شوي. Again, a figure with glowing eyes seems to be staring at him, this time from one of the windows of a building further away. He can't believe his eyes, and again he charges toward the building, and again he finds nothing. Things now begin to take a darkly sinister turn, 
as it seems the strange shadow figures are all around him. Bismillah. Oh my god, it's not over? Yo, I was thinking like, oh my god, this is the, the scariest one. 110%. I am literally looking behind me for figures with glowing eyes every five minutes. Oh man, I'm gonna be doing this. Bismillah. 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 You better have a. You better have something on you now. You better pull up with it. Come on now. Amr starts to hear terrifying sounds from all directions. He decides to just get out of there. Smart. So what do you think these bizarre dark figures could be? Is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Either way. The corner. Either way. The YouTube channel Lego Papa TV travels to the abandoned Letchworth Village Mental Asylum in New York. The village consists of 130 buildings and served as an asylum for the physically and mentally disabled for over 100 years. The institution was permanently closed down in 1996 after thousands of reports of patient abuse. The patients, most of them children, were found unclothed, unbathed, malnourished, and neglected. Hundreds of patients lost their lives at the Letchworth Asylum and were buried in nameless graves near the institution. Levy from Lego Papa TV is investigating the now abandoned Letchworth Asylum with his wife Kathy. When they get to the area that used to be the hospital morgue, Kathy sees something very strange in one of the doors. Wait. Oh, there's something cool over there. You saw something down here? Yes. Cool. I saw something step in that room. No. But it was fast. Wait, Chris. Hello? Oh, look. Look. They're standing up. Um, this is When you point to this way, I saw this. Yeah. I like somebody was like this and one like this. Now, unfortunately, they didn't capture what she saw on camera. So, Levy decides to set up a static night vision camera to record the hallway where his wife saw the strange figure. Hours after he sets up the camera, he catches something downright chilling. What looks to be the malformed apparition of a person seems to peek around the corner and then simply disappear back into the darkness. Could this be the spirit of one of the patients that passed away at the Letchworth? He said, hold up bro, I see you camera. Come on now, you can't prank me. You are not getting me on camera, I'm Bigfoot, step back. <laughs> Come on. Asylum? Or? Is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Rise. TikTok user Joe Vrola is at home with his girlfriend when he hears something strange coming from somewhere in their apartment. Since they have experienced unexplained activity in their home before, he takes out his camera and starts recording as he goes to check out the sound. It did not go well. What are you doing? I think I heard something. No, I can't do it. I gotta turn it up. I got to. What the? Jesus Christ! What? Did you see it? A floating figure seems to rise up out of the chair, disappearing into nothing. But Joe actually seems to be a bit more freaked out by the sudden appearance of his girlfriend. What the? Jesus Christ! What? Now, what do you think this strange floating figure is? Is it a ghost? Or is it just some very good special effects work? You decide. 
To be honest, with it being on... Oh, extra. Hold on, how many... What? In the shadows. Let's watch it. Reddit user A. Perez submitted this next video to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit. He claims the video was originally shared to Facebook by his niece, Jamie, who had recorded her children playfully jumping on her new bed. But when the video was posted, friends and family were very quick to point out that there was something very strange going on in the video that Jamie hadn't noticed at the time of the recording. When she reviewed the footage, she was shocked. Did you see it? Right before she ends the video while still distracted by her children, a shadow can be seen lurking in the bathroom, seemingly hiding behind the door. What makes this footage even more bizarre is that even though there's enough light to slightly illuminate the bathroom, the figure does not seem to have any facial features that catch the light. Imagine if it's just her boyfriend like in there taking a dump or something. I don't know. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know I did and honestly the third one was the creepiest one for me. The guy walking through abandoned buildings. But let me know which one was your most scary video you saw. I don't really know how to word that. But hey, it's been your boy Tank. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.